everyone, my name is Nicola, and my presentation is on the photographer Mary Ellen Mark. For her early life, I was able to find that she grew up in Philadelphia in the 1940s, and at the age of nine years old, she was taking pictures. But before she realized her interest in photography, she first started out um, taking interest in art and drawing, but as we see, um, she was interested in photography later on, and that leads us to um, her education. She graduated from Pennsylvania State University, where she received um, her degree in fine arts, and soon after, um, that's when she started getting interested in photography when she realized that, you know, art wasn't really her thing. So from graduating from Pennsylvania State, she received five honorary degrees from four different states. Two out of the five were from Pennsylvania State, and the third was from Michigan, and the fourth was from Illinois, and the final one is from Ohio. Now, the genre of her work um, was photojournalism, documentary photography, and portraitures. When working, um, she kind of wanted to capture issues or topics in different cultures that are universal. And I found a comparison, or yeah, a comparison. So she has a book. Um, kind of forgot the title of it, but it was her last published book, and it became an award-winning book, and it featured a 13-year-old prostitute in Seattle, which is known as Tiny. Um, similarly, another book she has, which I remember was the Falkland Road book, and it was published in 1981. She touched upon the Bombay Indian prostitutes. So, obviously, India is like a whole different country, and Seattle is here in the United States. And that's what I mean when she, she was able to look into different cultures and find relevant topics and essentially point out that they're universal. Regarding the prostitution scene, I admire Mary for taking the risk of phot photographing um, certain scenes or just being strong enough and brave enough to kind of um, invite herself into these people's world worlds because it's something so sensitive. And while doing the research, that's exactly what Mary Ellen Mark was about. She had a quote um, that went something along the lines that she isn't focused on pop culture regarding photography, that her work focused more on um, kind of like untouched subjects that magazines now aren't really um, looking for I guess because they don't pull in as much as much viewers as other topics that she focuses on which is like um, another example of a book was Ward 81 that she had um, an assignment of it was about the woman's ward in I believe Oregon State so, you know, psychiatric wards and prostitution, it's not really kind of the topics that um, a lot of people want to see pictures of, but nevertheless, Mary Ellen Mark made it her decision to go into these people's worlds and capture the reality. Um, besides the books that were published, she also worked for ad campaigns for Barnes & Noble and Coach Bags. And she was also an educator in the workshops in, I believe, New York City. And what I also admire and found out was that she, she was an educator for 20 years in Oaxaca, Mexico. I kind of admire this because 
um, I'm from Mexico and I would like to someday go back and even if it's not photography, maybe teach English to those, um, those people in Mexico. Now, um, other notes that I was able to find during the research was that before opening her own agency, Mary worked for Magnum Photos and Archive Pictures, and sometimes she would um, also be, um, I think it was a unit photographer, like in movie, see- movie scenes and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool because I remember um, Professor... Jess, I believe, um, also does that kind of photography, like, while a film is being shot, or, like, a a work, a film work is being shot, he's in the background, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last fact, uh, regarding Mary Ellen Mark was that she died of bone marrow, bone marrow failure at the age of 75, in New York City on May 25th, 2015. So thank you for listening to my presentation on on Mary Ellen Mark. I will leave links down below to the information uh, regarding Mary and her website and also attach some pictures and links to purchasing books if you guys are interested. Once again, thank you and goodbye.